cut time spent on meetings in half using Copilot in Microsoft Teams with these seven tips. On average, we spend two hours per day in meetings. And that's just in meetings themselves. That doesn't include preparing for the meetings or even post meeting follow up. With Copilot in Microsoft Teams, we can quickly stay on top of all of the meetings in our calendar, prepare and collaborate with team members for meetings, and gain insights during meetings, and so much more. Hey, my name's Amy. Let's nerd out. A quick note before we get started is that I have a Copilot standalone add on license. If you aren't sure what that is, then I will include a link in the description for you to check it out later. The standalone license is 40, 70 Canadian dollars or 30 US. Let's first take a look at how Copilot can help us stay on top of our calendar. You could go to your calendar in Microsoft Teams and sift through the different views to locate your upcoming meetings. Or we can navigate to Copilot. So we can select the ellipses and locate Copilot. If you don't see Copilot here, then you can start to type it in the search bar. Once we've accessed Copilot, then we can right click it and pin it to your navigation. Now, as a quick note, with the Copilot standalone license, you want to ensure that you are toggled to work. If you don't have work here, then you do not have that Copilot standalone license. Then in the chat area, we can simply ask Copilot, what meetings do I have tomorrow? Now you could say today, this afternoon, next week, and so on. So we can see that Copilot has generated a really nice summary of our meetings for tomorrow. We can see that Copilot can help us quickly stay on top of our calendar and gather insights on upcoming meetings. Next, we are going to take a look at how we can use Copilot to summarize our meetings. First, we will need to configure our meeting settings. So I am using the new calendar within Teams, so mine might look a little bit different to yours, but the fundamentals are still the same. So let's go new. We will go channel meeting. We will give our meeting a name. And then here we have AI generated notes. Now this feature is also available if you have a Teams premium license. And we just want to ensure that we toggle this to on. So this is going to automatically turn on transcription for your meeting. We will take a closer look at these meeting notes later in this video. But we can see that when we create our meetings, we want to toggle on AI generated notes. Next, we are going to take a look at how Copilot can help us plan our meeting agenda. At Amy's Animal Shop, we are having our annual dog apparel product review. And when we toggled on the AI generated notes, you may have noticed that this loop page appeared down below with an agenda. Now we could brainstorm an agenda on our own, but we are now able to collaborate with Copilot directly in this loop page. So we can select the Copilot icon and a Copilot chat box will appear. So I'm going to ask Copilot to brainstorm three. I would recommend being specific on how many agenda points you want. Otherwise you might get a really long list that might go beyond the scope of your meeting for our meeting about the annual dog apparel product review. So we also can add files to reference. At the moment, we are only able to reference other loop pages, but hopefully we will see other files populate here soon. So now we can press enter and Copilot is going to start to help us brainstorm our meeting agenda. So here we can see our agenda has been generated by Copilot. Now you could rewrite this with Copilot and ask it to fine tune some things, but if you are happy, then you can simply close. 
Now, if you want to remove this Copilot bar, then we can select all of the text and then just go Control C to copy it. And then we'll go Control V to paste. Then we can once again select all of that text and then press the delete button. So that's going to remove that Copilot area. And now we can more freely work with this text. Now you'll notice that this has now gone from a checkbox to a numbered list. So to change that, we can select everything, go to the ellipses, go headings and lists, and then go checklist. And we will see that that has gone back to the checklist format. So that is how we can use Copilot to quickly plan our meeting agenda. Next, we are going to take a look at how we can use Copilot pages to help us prepare for our meetings. A quick pause in today's video to say that my ebook, Navigating Microsoft Passages, is available for free for you to download. Inside, you will find a treasure map to help you navigate Microsoft 365 apps with confidence so that you can increase your productivity and efficiency and reclaim your time for meaningful work. I will include a link at the end of this tutorial as well as in the description of this one. So be sure to check it out and grab your copy today. Within a new chat of the work area in Microsoft Copilot, we can ask Copilot to help me prepare for my next meeting. So Copilot is first going to take a look at your calendar and see which meeting you have. And then it is going to comb through all of the resources within your tenant to help you prepare for that meeting. So we can see here that we have hold the meeting agenda from our upcoming meeting, pulling relevant documents that may be helpful for us to prepare for that meeting, as well as some email correspondence. So all of this information has been pulled together for me so that I can now start to prepare for my meeting. So what we can do is now we can go edit in pages. So now we have created a loop page that we can collaborate with team members. So we could press this share icon and then copy the link and send it in an email to our team members, or we can click anywhere within this page, press the at sign, and now I'm going to mention Mike. And then now here, we do just need to give him permissions to this page. So first, you would just want to ensure that there's no sensitive information on here that Mike may not have access to. And then we can click his name. And now we can share and notify. So that is now going to automatically send him an email to say that we have mentioned him in this loop page. So here we have that email notification that Mike has received. If we scroll on down, then we can see that I am collaborating on this loop page right here. And similarly, on my end, I can see Mike collaborating here. So now your team can start to collaborate with each other together within these loop pages to help you quickly prepare for meetings. Now that we've taken a look at how we can use Copilot pages to prepare for our meetings, we are going to take a look at how we can chat with Copilot during our meetings. During the meeting, you may have to go to the bathroom or you might get distracted and you might need to catch up on that meeting or you might be having an in-depth discussion with the team about pros and cons of certain items, and you might want to gather all of that information into a table. So this is where Copilot chat during the meeting comes into play. Once we have joined the meeting, you will be redirected to the notes area and you will see that agenda appear. Additionally, you will see a notification saying that transcription has started. So this is that key point. In order for Copilot to help us gather insights from meetings, we need to ensure that at a minimum, the transcription is turned on. We can close it up here. And then now we can toggle to the Copilot chat. We can ask Copilot to generate a table of pros and cons of the products discussed so far. 
So here, Copilot is going to be reviewing the transcription of this meeting, and it is going to pull together a really nice table of pros and cons. So this is how we can quickly gather insights about the meeting using Copilot chat. This Copilot chat is not available to everybody. So if you wanted to share it and collaborate on it with others, then we can copy it. And then we could go to the meeting chat area and we could paste that table there. Again, as with everything with AI, we just want to ensure that all of this is accurate before we start to work off of it. So this is how we can chat with Copilot during a meeting to quickly gain insights on the meeting discussion. Next, we are going to take a look at the meeting summary, which are those AI generated notes. After the meeting, it can be difficult to remember exactly what was discussed. Or you may have jotted down a couple of not that very detailed notes that you would need to reference to jog your memory. But these AI generated notes are much more robust than that. So first, we need to access our meeting recap. So we can open up the meeting and expand the details. Then at the bottom here, we see meeting summary and we can go view recap. This recap does take a few minutes to be generated and maybe even longer if it was a very long meeting. But once the recap is generated, then you will receive a notification in your activity feed. So here we can see an AI summary has been generated for us with key points discussed in the meeting. And we can even expand these items for a more detailed breakdown. In addition to that, we also have follow-up tasks, including the tasks as well as the suggested person who should be taking on that task. In addition to that, Microsoft seems to have made some new updates here as well. If we toggle to notes, then we will see our agenda at the top. But if we scroll on down, we're going to see these meeting notes and these have automatically been added. And you can give feedback to Copilot by selecting this little icon, giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down to help it understand your conversations better. So if we scroll on down, now there are even some follow up tasks being added to this area. So you can review these, then we can assign them to team members, add a date and a bucket, and these tasks are now going to sync with planner and to do. If you prefer the AI summary in this tab here, then you can copy that and then you can paste it and you can even add those additional tasks at the bottom and assign team members as needed. The AI meeting summary can help us save time during the meeting by allowing us to focus on the meeting at hand rather than take notes. It also helps us save time after the meeting by providing us with a detailed summary of key items discussed rather than relying on some jumbled notes that we have jotted down that don't really make sense after the fact. So now let's move on to how we can use the Copilot chat for post meeting insights. After the meeting, you may have post tasks to complete, but you can't remember exactly what was discussed on a certain topic. This is where the Copilot chat comes into play. So similar to chat during a team's meeting, in the recap area after the meeting, we can toggle to Copilot. Here, our chat conversation will appear, and now we can ask Copilot for insights from our meeting. So you could have gone through the transcription and gone back to the exact words that were said, but Copilot can give you these insights in seconds. So this is how we can use Copilot chat to gather insights post meeting to complete tasks. For more tips on how to use the Microsoft 365 Copilot standalone license, then you can check out this video here.